Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another scenario where we will utilize ls command in order to fetch specific files or directory. Okay, so in short, you can say that we are going to filter the files and directories. So how we are going to proceed with the session? First of all, I'll tell you about the exact command which we are going to use. And then later we will understand the difference between other ls command also because so far we have uh, already covered multiple scenarios for ls command right so today's command is also somewhere related to that so first of all that should be clear to us and once it is clear once we are comfortable with qshell command then i'll show you how we can utilize the command in CLLE program okay so this is how we are going to proceed with this session so let's start with a basic thing. So I'm assuming that some of you are not uh, referring the previous session and they are directly here uh, with the session. So for just just for them, I'm repeating one thing that uh, whenever you want to start the uh, Q shell command entry, then in that case, you can utilize the commands QSH. Just simply write QSH and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, it will open the screen, which is for Q shell command entry. Now here you can put any command related to QShell and it will execute accordingly. Okay, so as we are going to discuss about the ls command, so let me hit first ls because we should know about the ls and then only we can understand today's command. So once we hit enter here on ls, it will list down all the files and directories. You got my point? It lists down all files and directories and that we know those who are referring the entire series they know that yes uh, it is used to populate the files and directory list of files and directories okay now as i told you that we are going to discuss about a scenario through which we can fetch the specific files and directory from the list not all so why we need this uh, condition why we why we want to fetch only specific things so for to explain that let me take uh, one example just assume a scenario you are working uh, for a project with your one of your team member okay and then he asked you to share the list of all okay just a minute and he asked you to share all the list of uh, files and directories uh, okay for uh, files so but with a specific extension let's say i want to pick up a file but it should start it should end with a dot pdf only S which means i want a list of files which is pdf file not the other file like here you can see dot txt is there dot py is there you know? but we want only those files which is ended with a star uh, dot pdf so this is the requirement in such scenario we use this uh, command which i'm going to show you today now similarly if someone asks you to uh, list out all the directories which is started with a specific character like let's say dir so i want to pick up all those directories which is started with dir so how to fetch this so this thing we are going to discuss okay so let's see how we can utilize ls command to achieve this thing so first of all you just need to write ls which is a simple thing then put asterisk okay here you can put asterisk so just put a strict and after that you can put your uh, string so let's say I want to okay let's try it directly so if I write di this thing PDF a strict PDF what will happen let's see if I hit enter right now it will give me all the files all the files which is ended with a dot PDF you got my point okay let's say that pr uh, person with whom you are working they uh, he is now asking for a call the file which is txt file so yeah we can fetch that just simply take f9 to retrieve the last command and just make it txt txt so you can see it is populating all the files which is ended with dot txt which is fine right which is uh, as per our expectation okay now let's say if someone asks give you any file extension which is not even exist for example let's say if someone asks you to uh, fetch the file wwrr okay but you can see in this list there is no uh, file with this extension so if i hit enter what will happen it will give me error which is correct right because this file is not existing so error found getting information for object asterisk dot 
www.rn no such path or directory which is correct because this file is not existing so in this case it will give error okay fine so this is regarding the file now let's say if I want to pick a specific directory uh, I want a directory which is end with R okay let's make it R and then simply hit enter let's see what will happen so you can see uh, okay so you can see uh, just a minute let me change one thing fine so yeah uh, let's say I want yeah so here what we will do we will make it as asterisk uh, ABC asterisk so what this command will do because so far what we were doing we were just using the asterisk in order to fetch the uh, extensions for a specific file now it w what it will do it will pick the all the things which is which contains ABC now if I hit enter you will see it provides me ABC and X Y A B C Y because this contains uh, the thing which is A B C. So this this was our command, right? Uh, just fetch out all those things which is uh, which contains A B C. Likewise, if I make it as A B C and asterisk, then see what will happen. In this situation, there is nothing which is started with. Okay, let's uh, make it as hash then, or maybe D I R. Okay, D I R. DIR asterisk. So in this situation, it is uh, populating directory one, then colon and data dot decimal, which is present in this. Okay. So this is how it uh, fetch all the directories which is started with DIR one. Okay. So now if I break down this command, let me tell you in a simple way. Let's uh, write something like this. Dot abc then we have another thing abc abc asterisk and then we have asterisk abc asterisk asterisk abc asterisk so what it will do in first case it will fetch all the files or directories which is ended with the abc asterisk means it could be anything in place of asterisk there could be anything but at the end it should uh, only contain abc you got my point then we have ABC asterisk that means in starting there should be ABC and later it could be anything so this is the second scenario in third scenario it should contain ABC whether it is at start or end doesn't matter but it should contain the term ABC if it contains ABC then it will populate the list okay so this is how we can utilize these all three type of scenarios with LS if someone asks me to look for the file which is ended with a, a dot pi, so I can simply put here ls asterisk dot pi and hit enter. So after that, you can see it, it is populating with the file test dot pi, which is pre present in my one of my uh, directory, or you can say local path. Okay, so this is how we can utilize the asterisk in order to filter out the data as per our requirement. Now, what I'll do, I'll show you the same thing inside. CLLE program because this is our main motor like how we can utilize these uh, Q shell related commands in CLLE program so just to implement that uh, I have already created one program here uh, uh, with the name run QSS so let me walk you through this program although this program is quite short it will not take that much of time so this program is to list files with a specific file extension so to implement this we need one variable so to declare variable you can write dcl then take f4 provide the variable name type storage and length then simply hit enter variable is ready now we will change the value for this variable so just use chgvar put variable name and path path is ls txt. so what it will do it will pick all the file which is ended with dot txt extension and then once the command is ready then you can use simple strqsh to run the command so just write strqsh put the variable name which is m percent command and then we are good to execute the program one thing uh, let's say if you don't know about the basic thing like how to declare a variable how to uh, change the command like these all things we have uh, already covered in a separate topic so I recommend you to go and check out the previous playlist from the sequence because everything is in proper sequence so if you missed any of the session then it might be difficult for you to understand this concept 
because for now we are just focusing on the uh, QShell related part okay so let me compile it and call it so once I call it you can see it printed all the files which is started uh, which is ended with the extension dot txt dot txt okay same thing you can do here like same thing uh, you can if you want to start with a specific character uh, the, th the three scenario which I showed you uh, using asterisk you can implement here as well okay although we are just uh, executing the command so it doesn't matter uh, how you will write it but just make sure that you are writing it in a correct format and you can use any of the scenario as per your requirement okay so yeah that's all for today I hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching Tech Shermit.